welcome back to another TechMinds video. So one of my favorite SDR packages created by SDR Play, SDR Uno, has just had a brand new ADSB plugin added to the latest downloadable beta. If you don't know what ADSB is, well, in short, it's the transmissions from aircraft which relay position, altitude, and speed data, plus a whole load of other information to ground stations for tracking purposes. Getting started with aircraft tracking with your SCR Play receiver is quite easy. However, you would benefit from a dedicated antenna. So first, we need to attach the antenna to the RSP receiver, and then we connect the USB cable, which then plugs into your computer. Now, the RSP receiver itself is completely powered by your PC, so no extra power supplies are needed. The antenna I'm using for this example is a dedicated active ADSB antenna from JetVision. And this is an active antenna and it will require power. Now an active antenna means that it has some kind of preamp circuitry which will require powering. Luckily the RSPDX which I'm using has the ability to output a bias T voltage on antenna port B. So onto the software setup. With the RSPDX plugged in I'm going to launch SDR Uno and click the play button. Now at this point, I'm going to make sure that I have the correct antenna port selected and ensure that the bias T is turned on so it powers my JetVision ADS-B antenna. Then we click the plugins button to show the available plugins and then we select ADS-B and click load plugin. What you will notice here is that SDR Uno will automatically set the frequency to 1090 megahertz and in the waterfall, you should start to see signals as shown here. You will also notice a new pop-up window, which is the actual ADSB plugin. Now the ADSB plugin has three different output formats on three separate ports. We're going to be using the Beast data, so I need to remember port 3005. You'll also notice an oversample tip box, and assuming that your computer has enough processing power, it will be recommended to tick this option. We are now ready to activate the plugin and start decoding the ADSB data. Simply click on the start button on the bottom right of the ADSB plugin window. Now, depending on your location and how good your ADSB antenna is, you should now start to see aircraft appear in list format in the plugin window. Now, this information is all well and good, but what we actually want to see is aircraft moving around on a map. So for this, we're going to use an application called Virtual Radar Server which is actually a free download and I'll link below. Once Virtual Radar Server is running, you'll need to tell it to pull the beast data from the ADSB plugin that we've just configured. So from the tools menu, select options, click on receivers on the left pane, and then change format dropdown to AVR or beast raw feed. We then need to change the port to 3005. Once you click OK, you should start seeing the total messages number start increasing. This is a good indication that everything is working fine. You can now go ahead and click on the little blue link. Uh, mine says 127.0.0.1 forward slash virtual radar. And that will then open up a web browser showing the decoded ADSB messages as actual aircraft on a map in real time. Now, all of these aircraft that you can see on the map are live moving across the skies. You can even click on any aircraft to show further information about the aircraft and its route, even its position, how high it is, and also a photo of it. The great thing about this feature is that as the data is served onto a web browser, you can access this from any computer on your network or even the internet if you have the appropriate ports configured on your router. Now, as mentioned before, this is a beta version of the software and it does have a couple of quirks right now. The ADSB plugin does have its own web server included, which will show aircraft on a browser without the need for a virtual radar server to be installed. However, at the moment, at least for me, the aircraft are not shown correctly on the map. I believe this is currently being worked on, and that's why I showed you virtual radar server, as the beast raw output is 100% correct. Now, tracking aircraft and ADSB is quite a big topic, and it's also very popular throughout the world with aircraft spotters. So if you guys have used this solution yourself or tested this, let me know in the comments down below on what you think about it and if it's going to make life easier for you just by having this plugin running alongside SCR Uno. 
Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.